is going on YouTube. We're back and we got camber arms. Like I said in the previous videos, the passenger side rear one's bent, so we got some fully adjustable ones, so when we're ready to hit the track, or just in general have them. Um, I mean, these things are like 10 pounds each, so they should hold up for any beating we do until we slam this car into a wall. Um, besides that, catch us in this install video. We're gonna put these in. Need a jack. Damn, what is this mess? Exhaust, it's low. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so now that the car's jacked up, really, for its first time, we jacked it up when we bought it just to make sure that you know all the seams were together, the frame rails were cool and whatnot. Um, but this is really the first time we're jacking it up to this height and actually gonna get under it So obviously we're doing the install but definitely gonna look at some other parts and see what's broken what we need to replace etc um, But I can already tell you definitely gonna have to fix the exhaust. I mean this thing sits so low Like that definitely can be tucked way higher when it's it's probably like three inches off the ground Which is crazy because this car is stock height. I'm assuming All right, so just initially get out of the car and looking. Definitely not a stock exhaust, it's muffler. Um, can't really read this. So uh, I think we found out why the cam arm was bent in the first place. Definitely hit something, blew out the sidewall. So definitely gonna need, the rim looks like it'll definitely sell it air. Um, doesn't really matter, that most definitely getting new rims and spares for this car, but. For the time being, I think I'll just throw a new tire on this. I have a stack right there, and then uh, we'll be good. All right, so I'm gonna take both wheels off um, so that we can get to the bottom bolt without hitting the rim, because we're definitely gonna need to use an impact on it. All right, so I'm about to take both the rims off so that we can get to the bottom bolt on the uh, camber arm. Otherwise, you're hitting the inside of the rim when you're trying to use an impact or breaker bar because the bolts are rusted, so we're definitely gonna need to do that. Um, it's a 17 for the stock lugs. Okay, so it looks like it has H&R springs on it, actually. So I knew the car sit a little bit lower. So it looks like it has stock um, struts in there, and then in the spring bucket it has H&R springs. So I'm assuming it has a slight drop to it. See if I can get Damn, these shits are fucking dirty. Yeah, right there, H&R. I mean, that's nice. They're going to go anyways, but now I can sell them. Put these back in. BB Blaster, nothing it can't fix, so spray it in there real quick. So there's obviously a donut on the side. Ooh. The spring end was just sitting here like this. So I doubt that just happened when I jacked the car up, but. Ooh. All right, so the bolt closest to the um, rotor um, towards the hub is an 18. You're gonna need a box wrench and an 18 on the socket. Um, the bolt or the nuts on this side, super rusted. It's hitting the, the uh, diff and part of the flange on the side of the diff. So even if you were to take the flange off right here, it would still hit. So I think I'm gonna move on to the other side real quick and just see what's up. But I have no clue how the hell you're supposed to pull that bolt out because no matter which way you move it, that bolt is still gonna hit this diff right there. It's almost out, it's literally barely hanging on in there. But uh, I don't know, I really don't want to drop the diff just to take one fucking bolt out for a camber arm, but 
We have to. It came out, but as you can see, this bolt, it's not, eh, it looks a little bent to me. I don't know, on camera it looks a little bent, but definitely rusted. Um, it's probably a smart idea, just, damn, this fucking Coke is literally leaking through the cup. Um, it's probably a smart idea just to go get new bolts, you know, today or tomorrow. I mean, there's a BMW like 10, 15 minutes from my house. Yeah, that one's coming out easy. Hopefully there's enough room for that shit to come out. Yeah, real quick. All right, so we're rolling to Lowe's real quick. Um, this is an M12 bolt, so I'm pretty sure Lowe's, Home Depot, like Ace, all those stores, they carry up to like M12, and it's a one and a half pitch, so it's a pretty common bolt. Um, there's two things. I wanna see if I can get a little bit shorter of a bolt, because if I can, that'll really help out, because um, it's hard to get out. So if we need to change the arms, because they're bent, uh, track side, I'm really not trying to have to struggle with the bolts like we just did. Um, I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to get this back in. Like, it's that hard to get out. Um, but it's a slightly bent, so that's why we're really trying to get a new bolt. If I can't find one there, then we'll just hit BMW either tonight or um, tomorrow, and then we'll just pick the install up from there. All right, so the bolts we got definitely wouldn't have fit. Um, it's a pretty specific fit. So we have the old bolts in there. Probably just gonna order some new ones now that we know how we can take them out pretty easy. But the new one's already in there. I mean, the bottom bolt is so quick. This one is a little bit tighter for fit just because of the diff flange. Um, but yeah, I mean, look, you can see right there, adjustable there and there. So obviously we have to dial out the camera whenever we get it aligned or aligning ourselves with some plates, but uh, yeah. So Chris is tightening that top bolt in there. It's a pretty tight fit. You gotta use a box wrench as an 18 inch. 18 inch, look at me, 18 inch. 18 millimeter. I didn't mess with any adjustments on the top or bottom collars on it because I gotta run somewhere. So I'm gonna leave it, just see how the camber sits on it. Um, we're gonna drop the car down, push it in, and then tomorrow, um, you know, I can align it then or whenever. It's not gonna be driven until we get that camber, or not camber, I'm controlling for the front up there. So I'm not tripping too hard, but they look good. Definitely a lot easier to put in than they were to take out. All right, so we're about to lower it down, everything's cool. But when we took it apart, we remembered that this spring was all fucked up. It's kind of dark, but this spring didn't seat properly. Whoever fucking jacked this car up last. So it was literally just, it was just folded in here like this. Just sitting in there. So we need to make sure that this sits properly. Okay, Chris jack it up. Hold on, I'm gonna jack it up a little bit so I can hold the handle at the bottom. Okay. Right, so I'm definitely gonna call it a night here. I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow when I go to align the car. Cause I'll give you a look at it right now. It's definitely the super towed in. I mean, the car is literally sitting on the ground. I don't know if you can really tell, but this line right here is straight. That tire is not. Yeah, whoever drove this car, uh, had this car before us, I mean, <laughs> this is what a camber arm looks like, stock. So they definitely, maybe we're getting a little bit too drift happy. Hit that curb. What the, 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 the. Yeah, so the previous owner definitely hit some. Maybe they're drifting. I don't know. Maybe we could reach out to him and see, um, you know, the story behind this. But damn, that shit is bent compared to this one. So, anyways, we'll fix the alignment tomorrow. Super towed in on both sides. But uh, I'm getting ready to head out. Peace.